One very common type of force is the elastic force of a spring. Understanding this force is important as we can simulate several physical systems as springs. For example, the vibrations of atoms or the internal forces between molecules in a solid object. Also, circular motion such as the motion of the planets can be projected as an oscillatory motion just like the one of a spring. The mathematical expression to represent this is known as Hooke's law, which tells us that the force is equal to negative kx, where f is the force exerted by the spring, k is a characteristic constant of the spring, the elastic constant, x is the elongation. This is the amount, the distance stretched by the spring. The negative sign indicates that the force points in the direction opposite to the elongation. If the spring has been stretched, the elongation is positive and it wants to go back to its original length. Then the force is negative. If the spring has been compressed, the elongation is negative. It also wants to go back to its original length, then the force is positive. Look at this spring. The more force I apply to it, the more it stretches. Let me apply different weights to this spring and then measure the elongation or the distance stretched by the spring. If we plot the mass versus the elongation, which the mass is proportional to the force, I get a linear relationship, which is just Hooke's law, that the force applied and the elongations are linearly proportional, and the uh, constant of proportionality is just uh, the elastic constant of the spring.